7,865 pounds. Finally, middle bunkhouse travel trailers becoming available outside of the park model destination market here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, if you'd like to see if we have one of these, uh, you know, trailblazing original concepts here uh, at Halet RV, all you need to do is click the link in the video description that says check for price and availability. You'll see if we have it in stock, how it's equipped, what we're asking. Uh, we clearly publish pricing. We don't do hidden dealer fees. Um, I'm going to make my exterior tour here a little more brief than normal because obviously the weather is not super cooperative today. But uh, frankly, I think folks are probably wanting to see the inside of this more than the outside anyway. Way. Um, what's interesting is uh, the middle bunk travel trailer concept. It's something uh, that I actually worked with uh, another brand that we carry uh, here at Halet RV, the Keystone Passport, and they were one of the first to uh, devise this. I came up with a uh, floor plan layout. And then the uh, old dogs at uh, Coachman, it's kind of, you ever see through history how different societies will have um, like they'll discover the same thing at the same time in different areas of the world. That's sort of what happened here. I was working with Passport on coming up with the industry's first middle bunk travel trailer and at the exact same time Coachman did the same thing over here. Um, what I like is how they're different and we'll see more of that as we go inside. But uh, the basically, this one's more of a bunk house in the middle, whereas the Passport that we will also have here at Halitz, the 33MB it's called, it's in, in their Elite segment, it is uh, more of a middle bonus room. So it kind of depends on which side of the coin you want to be on. They both have excellent qualities. And one thing I will say, uh, despite both being half ton towable uh, from a weight standpoint, they are quite long. There is no way to build a short middle bunkhouse. The one thing it cannot be is short in size. But that's where the wide stance stability axles on the Freedom Express are really going to come into play. Um, one of the factors people rarely consider, mostly because I don't think they know they should consider it, or even how to consider it, is how the wheelbase of your vehicle plays uh, against the length of a trailer. The longer the trailer, the more likely it is to push you on the road. So at a glance, you're like, well, holy cow, because middle bunk houses, guys, you can't get them much less than 37 feet. Tip to tail, from tongue to bumper, that's about how big this is going to be. I haven't looked at the spec sheet yet, but I, I just know from experience it's about the size it's got to be. Well, those wide stance stability axles help you cheat the wheelbase. Um, the uh, other big thing to talk about on any Freedom Express is the Asdell under the skin. It's part of the reason that even though this is an extra tall travel trailer, that's, enough, that's a very unique quality of the Freedom Express family. They are extra tall ultralights and big and light aren't two things that normally go together. But that's why Freedom Express uses Asdell under the fiberglass skin on the sidewalls here. What that does is it reduces the weight significantly. You get a greater effect out of Asdell the bigger the trailer. So this is probably one of the greatest effective Asdell trailers you can find on the market because there's just so much of it that really helps reduce weight. It also um, improves uh, our values. You know, it's got a higher insulative quality than typical Luan wall panels will. Uh, it's noise dampening, but the biggest thing is it just can't rot mold or mildew. That and the weight reduction, I think, are the two biggest factors uh, that go into Asdell production. So this is a Liberty Edition, and I can't stress enough how this may be different from the one that we have in stock. Even if it's just decor like or, or furniture or something, this is just one uh, 323 we've had in stock and in case in point there's another uh, 323 coming in stock right there they're both being delivered at the same time right now and I haven't even had a chance to look at the other one to see if they're different uh, so let me just start rattling off a couple quick high points um, then we're gonna hop inside here I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes outside Liberty Edition gives us uh, full automatic leveling this is kind of interesting right here. The uh, It looks like the lid to the tongue jack pops up and that's your little control panel right there. Liberty Edition gives us a full nose cap, those hitch docking lights. All Freedom Expresses have tongue mounted spare tires for load equalization. Magnum, uh, pardon me, magnet latch uh, baggage doors with slam latches. You saw the picnic table included, the full length LED lighting. Um, quick solar prep if you're looking for that. Heated enclosed underbelly, standard on these, seal gripping slide walls. Now one benefit of being super long is you actually get a pretty nice awning and patio space right here. You can imagine plenty of room to use that picnic table next to those TV hookups right there. Um, all of the windows are tinted, all open for ventilation. The roof is full walk-on. Um, the rear bumper is left wide open for bike racks. 42 cubic foot of storage space in the front pass-through. 
Um, I think we're pretty good outside. Let's hop inside because that, that, I'm pretty sure that's what you're really looking for anyway. I know I would be. So the moment you step in... Why is it so dark in here? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I've got transition sunlight or like sunglasses, uh, reading glasses, and uh, <laughs> they haven't transitioned back to light yet. I just stepped in from inside. Pardon me. So uh, anyway, the moment you step inside, you look at this, you're like, oh, wow, this looks a lot like a fifth wheel. And that's exactly where this middle bunk house came from. And again, that's where I was uh, suggesting how the Passport and the Freedom Express middle bonus room bunk houses, whatever you want to call them, are different. They literally just took the Chaparral fifth wheel middle bunk house. They just chopped the sofa off the back and they just took the slide out of the bedroom and created this. That's it. They didn't have to reinvent the wheel. They found something that worked very well. And folks, they just ran with it. And I think that's awesome because all of the important thoughts and engineering, like, hey, where do we place cabinets? How do we do the TV? That was all done. They didn't have to figure it out. This is proven to work. Um, first thing I want to talk about in here, remember I was talking about Asdell outside, is height. Freedom Expresses are taller. This has a six foot nine interior height. So, well, six foot nine walls with a linear interior profile. Well, now, you can make an RV look and feel taller a couple different ways. This is one of the ways. This is actually my preferred way is to make the walls taller. The other way is you do a normal six and a half foot wall, three inches shorter, and then you put like a five and a half inch bubble on the ceiling. And that's fine. You vault the ceiling. It looks great. It does have some advantages from the standpoint of uh, it maintains even insulation along the side walls. That being said, not too much of a difference here. Uh, the way Freedom Express does the roofing anyway. Um, but... It doesn't make the walls taller. So this has taller slide outs, taller bunks, taller shower, taller cabinets. And, but it's not heavier because of the Asdell. Uh, let's just start focusing over here. So the entertainment center is on the corner of Boardwalk and Park Place. And this is <laughs> this is like the same TV that Ellen DeGeneres gives away every day. You're going to go home with a 55-inch TCL Roku HD television. And everyone's like, ah! Oh, you know. I don't know, maybe I'd lose my brains too if she gave you a free TV. It just sounds like fun. Anyway, so 55-inch TCL Roku TV here on a double-jointed swing arm. So it can flush mount and face directly to the sofa over here. Um, or it can angle out like I've done. You can see it from the kitchen, from the dining room. Uh, you can see it from most of the trailer, frankly, because it's huge. Now this uh, rear wall, because the cool thing about middle bunkhouse bonus rooms is they are rear living rooms first. Now, the only hiccup with that big rear window, it's right where I have to put my camera so everything goes dark, but it lets in just a flood of light. Now, when you're in the Liberty Edition, you get the roller shades instead of the pleated blinds, and that's on all the windows, not like oh, everything except the uh, one kitchen window over here, actually. This still has to be a metallic mini blind for fire code. But you want to roll those down, you want to blot out the sun, you can really do that in here. You've got your electric heating fireplace, air quote fireplace, below the big <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres 55 inch TCL Roku television. You've also got full storage below. They wasted nothing in this model. They have done an amazing job. Every ounce of this opens up for storage capacity. Electric space heater, not like people, I don't need a fireplace, I'm not hauling wood in and out of here. And someone's laughing right now at home, but guys, you have to remember, the reason folks are watching these videos is to learn stuff. Not everybody knows everything. That's why sometimes I sound repetitive from video to video, because it might be the next person's first video. You know what I mean? So, on, a, on the Chaparral fifth wheel, there would be a sofa back here, which is how most rear living rooms are situated. But this is a long trailer, and I said, man, we got to shorten it up. So, again, they chopped off the sofa that really you don't need in this model. And uh, they, they put that just handy little utility stand there. Now, in the Liberty Edition, your kitchen countertops become solid surface. But uh, in a uh, standard uh, Freedom Express and everywhere that's not the kitchen, you still get this kind of sealed edged, waterproof countertop right here. And this is good for just anything, anything you want. The one caution I give you guys, I would recommend uh, putting a little note by the master control panel. You have to fold that down before you run the slides in. You see how the slide flange goes all the way to the rear wall? You will crush that, and then you will be very sad about the repair bill you have in my service center. But at least we have a service center. Amazingly, guys, not every RV dealer has a service center. You need to investigate the dealer as much as you investigate the RV because you're buying both. Now, this is a tri-fold sleeper sofa in one of their darker decors. There are multiple different decors. There's also multiple different sofa options you can put in this RV. Um, I won't be surprised if at some point during the year we throw one in here with a theater seat. Obviously, we got the trifold here. The nice thing about the trifold is you can just sleep everybody in this thing. Between the sleeper sofa, the fold-down dinette, 
and the middle bonus room and the master bedroom, uh, you can sleep anybody anywhere you want. But, uh, you know, we're going to try out a few different furniture arrangements since this is so new. Now, in the Liberty Edition, below the dinette benches, you have a pair of full extension ball bearing glide drawers uh, with plywood box drawers on, uh, on top of that. So you have full access to all the storage below the dinette. You do not have to like lift and throw the cushions. And here's an amazing thing, and you're going to laugh when I say this because you think, what do you mean? Why is this? Why are you talking about this? The cushions actually fit on the table to form a sleeper. And you're like, yeah, so? And I'm saying that because I take the extra time to fold down the dinette in every RV that we carry so I can take pictures of it. This is That's the extra steps that we go at Halo RV, even just something little like the dinette. Imagine what else we'll do. What I've discovered is about half of the trailers built, and even fifth wheels, their cushions really don't fit. Well, these do, so I was excited about that. Now, your table's free-floating. You can fold it down, use it like a coffee table over here in front of whatever sofa arrangement is present in the RV that uh, you purchase. You see the LED accent lighting below the sofa? You'll also find that below the bench end drawers, as well as a few other select areas like... There's actually backlit uh, uh, cabinets above the sofa here. All windows open for ventilation. And what I like about this layout is all the windows uh, from your slides are on the door side of the RV. So we're taller. We also have a, a larger eight cubic foot fridge freezer, uh, which at this product level has become more common, but it's not standard yet. So I still want to talk about it. I love this huge overhang on the island. If you feel like adding a couple little bar stools and turning it into a breakfast nook, you can. Pardon the little snow drifting that I've tracked in here. We'll get that cleaned out before she's closed up. Full storage below the island, and I love the side pantry here, and the inclusion of a wastebasket. Now you can also see all kinds of drawer and storage space over here. Let me get my gloves off. One of the other things I should have done in my photo too, where I realized I missed, was activating the little stovetop night light. And it's just enough to be able to see where you're going at night. And I think it's not an accident. It's positioned right next to the uh, refrigerator so that you can sneak in there and get a little midnight snack. Now, over here, again, this is a huge chunk of countertop space. That means there's storage below it. And it goes all the way down. I mean, there's no, like, blocks or obstructions. This is just pure storage back here, guys. Another thing I love, big drawer. Another thing I love, another big drawer with... Normally, this would go under the sink. I call this the utensil drawer organizer. And I guess I can still call it the utensil drawer organizer. I can call it a baseball bat if I feel like, although that obviously doesn't apply. My point is, they do everything they normally do and then some. Now, over here, let me open this up. Man, these latches are strong when they're brand new and when they're cold. You've got huge pantry capacity going on over here, brother. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Hulk Hogan, you got a big pantry going on, Mean Gene. I'm going to put the Atomic Smackdown on the storage, brother. Oh, yeah. Well, I turned into Randy Savage halfway through that, didn't I? Now, this, these are adjustable shelves. If you want to turn this from a closet or from a pantry into a closet, you can. This is also deeper than that. So keep in mind, that's actually twice as deep as that. Uh, so just, again, all kinds of storage. So solid surface counters, stone cast recessed sink right here. It is rated for up to 500 degrees. It can't rust because it's not metal. Um, it's actually got a like uh, liquid stone application put onto it. And uh, the very cool new residential sprayer type faucet, although it's cold. Oh, look at me looking stupid on this. But, sorry, guys. It's cold. This comes out. I don't want to reef on it and break something. We'll get that addressed. Um, solid surface sink. Uh, uh, covered for over your um, sink right there too and it's all flush mount for just crazy good storage space your command center one thing you can't do with this guys you can't like really get to the kitchen in the living room with the slides closed that being said it's very easy to get to what you can do when the slides are closed just boop um, you can uh, get to the middle bunkhouse you can get to the bathroom you can get to the master bedroom you can really navigate this thing when you're going down the road you can get it like packed for traveling now, this is where I was saying this is more of a middle bunkhouse than a bonus room because it's obviously just a pair of straight bunks, but they're long. You can actually fit long kids on this. You can easily sleep four in here. Now, on a rainy day, it's very easy for entertainment. These just latch up in place. And I've got little computer guy chicken arms. I am not an upper body strength individual. I'm not much of a strength individual. I'm more of a mental sweat kind of guy. And you can see that I can easily manipulate those. I love just, this is just extra storage. This is on the back side of that uh, pantry. Remember how I said the one coat closet? 
because it is deeper, it's because it goes all the way to this wall, because there's no room for a door over here. So again, really smart. They really, really thought about it. There's also TV hookups here in the uh, middle bunkhouse up in this corner, if you're so inclined. Sliding privacy door here as well. What's kind of neat about this is the bathroom is located right next to both bedrooms. And that's uh, a really strong, smart feature I'm a big fan of. The other thing I'm a big fan of is this is a tall shower. This is nerd-tested, nerd-approved, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, because of the extra three inches of interior height, even a tall person who's six foot plus can stand in here without your head even touching the ceiling panel, let alone in the bubble. Now, if you're six and a half, seven foot tall, you're going to use the bubble. A little coat drying rack. Uh, well, towel drying rack. Now, someone's going to say, I don't like the door open on this side. Well, all you have to do is just, once you get to your destination, flip the travel lock, slide it over, and then, ta-da! It's easy to get to from whatever side you want. You also do have that corner seat in there. And remember, sealed edge countertops in here so that water can't penetrate those. And Coachman's always been really good about their, their bathroom-like shelf arrangements right here. Very, very effective bathroom. Look at the thickness of these interior walls. This is four inch. I think that's a three and a half or four inch wall. You don't get that in ultralight RV production. You get thinner most style. Oh, there's a good look at those roller shades right there. I must have left that down, you know, thinking ahead or something like that. Up here in the master bedroom, you've got one main cabin light, but then you have a pair of these little uh, reading lights. You can tap it once for blue, tap it a second time uh, for, uh, uh, well, hold it, not tap it, and get the nice bright white light. But if you look up here in this recessed headboard you get in the Liberty Edition, there's an extra light and there's USB plugs. So if you want to, uh, you know, charge your phones or do anything like that, you are all set to do so. Something else I want to talk about. This is a full, true 80-inch queen bed. Residential queen size. Queen sheets are going to fit that. Obviously, you got your sliding privacy door there, you can see. The foot of the bed does lift for storage. You do have uh, outlets and stands on both sides of the bed with a full-length hanging closet without the sharp corner that's going to gouge you. And full overhead cabinet space. This is all pocket uh, grued. I've been watching too much Despicable Me with my daughter. Pocket glued and screwed and, I don't know, maybe tattooed cabinetry up here gonna last you longer basically it's not particle board it's not stabled extra overhead vent for uh, uh airflow now this does have a constructed roof what that means is that folks we've got a full service center we do everything so if you want to upgrade to like a max air fan there well there's power off that light right there we can tap into that because this is a non-laminated roof you don't have to dig through anything and we can do simple little screwdriver work upgrades for you here at halet rv because we only do everything for you here at halet rv so all I ask, if you found this fun, entertaining, useful, whatever, give us a call. Now, this is a new product offering, guys. The manufacturers, uh, just like I worked with Passport uh, on their version of this floor plan. I've worked with Freedom Express and the Coachman Lightweight Division on other floor plans before. I actually have helped multiple uh, product ma developers improve things. That is all based on your customer feedback. If you have thoughts, suggestions, please be, you know, decent and constructive. Leave us a message in the video description down here. Or send us an email, whatever. We want to hear what you think about this. We absolutely do. Um, if you, you like this and you want to see what one's going to run, again, I leave you a link in the video description so you can see uh, what the one in stock is equipped with and what we're asking. And if you want to build a different way, call us. We'll build you one. Who cares? 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.